Hey yogis, Caitlin Turner, also known as Gypset Goddess on Instagram here for week one of the spring reset. And you know, just like we start with spring cleaning in our houses, it's time for some spring cleansing in our bodies. So we're gonna have a great practice of a lot of twists and turns and beautiful detoxifying sensations. So I say we jump right in. We'll start on our backs. Lying down, just take a few moments here to get present to this moment, this sensation, this rhythm of breathing. With each inhale, become even more present to the right here, the right now. And with each exhale, let anything that happened this week this morning, this hour, let it all go. Just leave it on your mat. Begin making every breath a little bit more profound, a little bit deeper than the last. Each inhale a little bit longer each exhale a little bit more slowly and find that nice rhythm of breath in and out through your nose with your lips gently pressed together feel the weight of your body on the mat let it ground you and connect you to this moment so that you can be here. You've got nowhere else to be and nothing else to do. Just be here and breathe. Let your eyes start to flutter open. Bring your feet together and hug your right knee into your chest. We're gonna go a little bit backwards today, which I like to do sometimes. Part of spring cleaning is breaking up old routines and creating new ones. Draw your knee over to the left, gazing out over your right shoulder, bringing it into a nice twist. You can twist a little bit more deeply with each exhale. Roll back to center and just switch sides. Hug your left knee in. And then draw your knee to the right as you reach your left arm out to the left. Bringing it into a twist on the other side. Slowly roll back to center. Just set your left foot on the floor for a moment. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh and start to hug your knee in so that you can interlace your fingers and attach them behind the back of your left thigh. Relax your left leg and keeping your tailbone on the ground with each exhale, hug your legs in a little bit tighter. You should feel a really nice opening through the right hip crease here around the back really all through your right hip. Focus on sending your breath there. And gently release that and we'll just switch sides. So cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Start to hug your knee in, interlace all 10 fingers around the back of your right thigh. Relax your right knee and keeping your tailbone down, hug everything in towards your chest. Breathing here, your inhales will show you where there's tension and your exhales will just help you let it go. <laughs> That's what we're here to practice doing. Gently release that. You're gonna catch both feet from the outside edge and come into your happy baby. 
So you're stacking your heels over your knees and focusing on drawing your knees down towards your mat, opening all through your groin, through both hips. You can either stay still here or maybe you kick one foot out, kick the other foot out. Find a little sense of play, just like the happy baby that we're emulating. Maybe it feels good to gently roll from side to side this way. Just listen to your body and do what feels good to you. Coming back to center, start to kick both feet out. They may move a little or they may move a lot, but we're reaching them toward a straddle position. Really opening all the way from your hips through your legs. Draw everything back into center. Give yourself a quick hug, because why not? And then rock all the way up to seated. Cross one foot in front of the other and find a comfortable seated position. Inhale, both arms up, lengthen, and exhale your body over to the right. And rather than crunching the right side, we're lengthening the left side. So really focus on reaching up and out with your left hand. Getting really long all the way from your hip up through your ribs, through your shoulder, and out your fingertips. Come back to center with an inhale, reach. Exhale over to the left side. Breathing here, really reaching up and out, creating a little bit more space between each of your ribs with each inhale. And take it back to center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And just gently walk your hands out. There's no need to force it here. We're just starting out. So take it nice and easy. And just relax. Walk your hands back in. And we'll simply just switch the feet. Just place the opposite foot in front. And inhale, arms up, just like we did before. Exhale over to the right side. Creating extra length all through the left side, breathing here. Inhale takes you back to center, arms up, lengthen. Exhale over to the left side. Reaching up and out, rather than down, finding that beautiful sensation of length through your right side body. Inhale, center, reach up, rise. Exhale, fold forward. And just breathe here. Take it easy and just relax into this pose. Less forcing, more flowing. Walk your hands back into center. Cross your ankles and just roll over your feet to find your way into tabletop pose. So we're gonna practice some cat-cow, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Today we're gonna focus on moving in a wave-like motion. So rather than our super organized cat-cow, we're gonna drop our hips to our heels and round to the front. Oh, actually, scoot your knees back a teeny bit. That'll be easier. So our cat is going to look like our hips going to our heels and our spine rounding as we come forward into our cow, which is gonna look a lot like your up dog. So let's move like that. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch. Inhale, round. 
Exhale, arch. Inhale to round, moving with your breath. Exhale to arch. Inhale two more times. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Find your way back to your tabletop. And if you scooched your knees back with me, scooch them forward again and find that alignment with your shoulders stacked over your wrists and your knees beneath your hips. Inhale your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread it through between your left wrist and knee, bringing your right shoulder down to your mat. For a nice twist here. You have options with your left hand. I like to reach it forward and maybe balance on my fingertips a little bit but you can also reach it back for your right hip, bringing it into a wrap. So just listen to your body and do whatever feels right to you and just breathe here. If you're wrapped or if you're reaching forward, wherever you are, Bring your left hand back into a supporting position. Push into your hand and inhale your right arm up to the sky. Exhale it down. And we'll take that through the other side. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, thread it through, coming down onto your left shoulder, dropping your left ear to your mat. And wherever you went with, the right, with your hand on the other side, find that here again. So you can reach forward or you can reach back and find your wrap. Listen to your body and do what speaks to you. And just breathe here. Really breathing into this moment, breathing into this sensation. Bring your right hand in so that it can support you. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, release it down. Walk your hands forward a little bit, curl your toes under, and reach your hips up and back. We'll come into our first downward dog of the day. So just find a little motion here. You can bend one knee, bend the other, move your hips around. Check the weight in your hands. You want even weight in both hands. Beautiful length from your wrists all the way up through your shoulders into your spine. Breathe here. Find a place of stability. And once you do, inhale your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, roll your hip open. Bring it back to center and take some circles with your right leg. So you can move outside or inside first. Just pick a direction and start drawing nice big circles with your knee. We'll take two more in this direction. And then switch, go the other way for five circles. Really moving your hip in every direction for three, two, and one. Inhale, kick your right leg back. Exhale, step it up between your hands. Coming into a low lunge. Just relax here for a moment, sink into it. Your knees stacked over your front heel. Your back knee is on your mat. And just allow your hips to start opening and sinking down here. Curl your back toes under so that you can step your back foot up to meet the front. Inhale, lengthen your spine, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands in prayer at your chest. Now step your feet open a little bit, about shoulder distance, but you know, not super specific with the length here. Inhale, both arms up. 
As you exhale, run your right hand down the side of your body as you reach your left hand up and out. Really checking in here that we're reaching up and out rather than rounding down into the right side. Each breath makes your left side even longer. Inhale back to center. Exhale, run your left hand down the left side of your body, reaching your right arm up and out. And remember, not forcing it here, not cranking anything open, just letting your breath do your work for you. Each breath helps you open a little bit more. Take it back to center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands in prayer at your chest. And now here, just move your upper body. We're going to take gentle twists, but we don't want to use any momentum from our arms. Just rolling your shoulders open to the right, coming through the center, and turning your torso toward the left. So these are really gentle twists where we're using our muscles to do this rather than any gravity force. Let's take one more to the right and one more to the left. Take it back to center. Step both feet back together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Keeping the weight in your hands, step your left foot back, finding once again that low lunge on the right side. You're going to keep your right fingertips down on your mat and inhale your left arm up to the sky. And you can either stay here or maybe you start to reach that left arm up and back to the right, opening up even more, exaggerating that opening through the front of your left hip. Keep your hips sinking down. Keep your arm and your upper body reaching up and back. And gently release that. Both hands on your mat. Shift your hips back to a half split. If full split is part of your practice, feel free to go there. You know what's best for you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale to fold forward over your front leg. Each breath, once again here, will show you where you're feeling tight and help you let it go. So always come back to your breath. Slowly come up. You'll bring your right knee back to meet the left. Inhale, arms up. Take a nice back bend. Exhale, child's pose. From here, move like a snake, slithering forward all the way to your upward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. Inhale your left leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, roll your hip open for a moment. Check in with your shoulders. Don't let your right shoulder drop. Try to keep both shoulders even. Bring your hips back to center. And let's draw some big circles with your knee on this side. So choose a direction and start circling. We'll take five this direction. Moving your hip every which way. And now five the other direction. Really lubricating the hip joint here. Last one. Inhale, kick your left leg back. And exhale, step it up between your hands, finding your left side, low lunge. Let's just take a moment here to relax into it. Check in with your hips. You want both hip points pointing forward as much as you can. So if you find that they're out to the side, you want to turn them back to the front. Keep breathing here. Feeling that opening through the front of your right hip especially. 
Curl your back toes under and bring your back foot up to meet the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Sit your hips down nice and low. Inhale, reach, chair pose. And now if you find that your weight's coming into your toes, really shift it back into your heels. You'll feel that really turn on and fire up your legs. Maybe you give your toes a little wiggle just to check in. Bring your hands in prayer at your chest. And bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, bringing it into a twist here. Keep your thumbs in close to your heart. Don't let them go out. That's part of the leverage to help us twist open. Check in with your hips, your knees. You want them both in line. If one knee is pulling in front of the other, draw it back. Inhale, chair pose. Hands in prayer at your chest. Take it to the left. Right elbow outside of your left knee. I know your legs are talking to you, but that's okay. Just listen to your breath instead. We won't be here very long. Keep sitting into it. Keep your weight back in your heels. One more breath here. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, bow. Whew. Inhale, half lift. Step your right foot back, finding your low lunge on the left side once again. You're going to keep your left hand on your mat, but you'll walk it back so that it's in line with your hips a little bit more. Inhale, your right arm up. You can stay here, or maybe you start to reach it up and back to the left, exaggerating the opening through your front hip crease even more. Breathing here, opening even more, and release your hands to your mat. Shift your hips back, stacking them over your back knee. Flex your front foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Get a little bit longer with each inhale. Fold a little bit deeper with each exhale. Slowly release. Draw your left knee back to meet the right. Inhale, rise up. Take a little back bend. Exhale, child's pose. Once again, slithering like a snake, all the way to your upward dog, inhale. Exhale it back, downward dog. Walk your feet out a little bit wider so that they're almost to the edges of your mat. Take a look at your hands and bring your thumbs together to touch at the top of your mat and now just walk them back a hand length or two, so that we're placing more of our weight into our feet. Keep your right hand where it is, and with your left hand, reach for your right ankle, bringing it into a downward dog twist. So you have the combination motion here of reaching your hips up and back, as well as pulling with your left arm to draw your left shoulder through, twisting open to the right. Gently release and take it through the other side. Right hand reaches for your left ankle. Keep reaching your hips up as you twist your body open to the left. Release that. Find your way back to your standard downward dog. Inhale your right leg back. Exhale, right knee to your right wrist, right ankle to your left wrist. If that's a little bit much, you can bring your right ankle closer to your left hip instead so that the knee is more bent and it's a little less stress in the hip joint. Keeping your right foot nice and flexed and engaged to protect your knee. You can stay here or maybe you reach your hands back. Or maybe, like me, your favorite is sleeping pigeon. 
In which case, take a little nap, walk your hands forward, and bring your forehead down to your mat. Couple more breaths here. Really breathe into your hips, let go of whatever you're holding on to. Walk both hands back in. Draw your left leg around to the front. And you have options here. We're going to take it into some form of double pigeon. So from least to most difficult. Option one is you'll just cross your left ankle in front of the right. Option two, you'll cross your left knee on top of the right. And it's OK if this alignment isn't perfect. You know, it's about the intention. So even if it looks more like this, work from there. Finally, option three is the full double pigeon. You'll stack your left heel on your right knee, your left knee on your right heel. And again, it's about the intention. Even if your left knee isn't perfectly down on your right foot, just work from wherever you are. And remember, don't force it. So find your comfortable, comfortable position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And this can be a pretty intense stretch. So just use your breath and do your best to relax into it. Use your inhales to see where you're feeling tight and visualize sending your exhales to that spot, letting that tension go. Slowly walk both hands in. Cross your ankles so that you can roll over your feet and step back to downward dog. We'll take that same thing through the left side. Inhale your left leg back. Exhale, find your pigeon. So left knee to your left wrist, left ankle to your right wrist, or maybe your right hip, whatever feels best. Remember, you can reach back, opening through the chest. Or maybe you just walk your hands forward and really relax into the beautiful juiciness of pigeon pose. <laughs> and just check in with your hips. Sometimes one side is a little bit tighter than the other. And don't judge yourself. Just be accepting. Everything is what it is, and it's just right right now. <laughs> so breathe into this sensation for a few more breaths. Gently walk both hands in. Bring your right leg around to the front. We'll take it once again into double pigeon or some variation. So either right ankle in front of left, right knee on top of left, or right heel on left knee, right knee on left heel. Wherever you are, find some version of comfortable and inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. It's common for whatever emotions that we're holding on to and not expressing to come up in these deep hip opening poses so if you find that you have any emotions rising to the surface right now, whether it's anger, sadness, hopefully happiness, <laughs> whatever it is, just breathe through it. Invite it in, experience it on your inhale, and then let it go, kick it out on your exhale. Take a couple more breaths here. Sending your breath to wherever you're feeling the most tension and really focusing on letting it go. Walk your hands in. Cross your ankles so that you can roll over your feet. And step back to downward dog. From here, you'll walk both feet up to the center of your mat and drop your hips down. We'll find our way 
to Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet are together. Both sit bones are pressing firmly into your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. You can keep your hands on your feet and gently use your elbows to help guide your legs down towards your mat. Or you can walk both hands out and use that as a little added leverage to help draw your chest closer to your feet. Walk both hands in. And you can either turn to the side of your mat like I'm going to do, or if you're comfortable, just kick both feet out to the sides right where you are. But wherever you are, find your way to straddle. Once you're there, use your hands to sort of scoot your hips forward just a little bit more. And then if you need to stay upright, if this is enough, do that. Otherwise, start to walk your hands forward, finding your way into a deeper sensation. Keep externally rotating your legs. So that means that your toes keep pointing up to the sky rather than rolling forward. And just breathe into the sensations that are happening here. It's all temporary. Lock both hands back in. Come back to a seated position at the top of your mat. Both legs are out in front of you. You're going to bend your right knee and set your right foot down outside of your left knee or a little bit higher thigh. Right hand on your mat. Inhale your left arm up to the sky and exhale to twist. So you'll bring your left elbow outside of your right knee, reaching your right hand for the back. And remember, in any of these twisting poses, the goal is to get longer, not to twist deeper. So each inhale will make you even taller, and then each exhale will just help you gently twist open, never forcing it, just letting everything flow naturally. Slowly come back to center, and we'll just sit, switch sides. Kick your right foot out, draw your left knee in, set your foot on the outside of your knee or thigh, Left hand behind you, inhale your right arm up, and exhale the elbow outside of your knee, gently twisting open here. When we have leverage of hand against the knee, like, of elbow against the knee like this, it's easy to want to really push into that knee and crank this twist open, but that's a bona fide way to hurt yourself. So it's okay to put a little bit of pressure and challenge yourself, but don't put so much pressure that you go past what's safe. Just listen to your body. And if your breath ever gets choppy, that's a great stopping point. In fact, you should maybe back off a bit from there. But as long as you can breathe, you're good. Take it back to center. Kick your left foot out. Walk both hips back, getting even longer through the backs of your legs. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold even deeper. Let's try that again. Moving like a wave. Inhale, length. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, get even longer. Exhale, fold even deeper. Slowly rise all the way up. Scoot your hips forward a bit. And one vertebrae at a time, roll all the way back down onto your mat. Bring your feet together. Hug your right knee into your chest. We'll take one more juicy twist. Draw your knee over to the left, gazing out over your right shoulder. Take a moment to compare this twist to the one that we started with. Ideally, you're feeling a little looser, a little more relaxed, a little less stressed. 
Roll back to center and switch sides. Hug your left knee in and then draw it to the right, reaching your left arm out to the left, twisting open, gazing out over your left shoulder. Come back to center. And you can either draw the soles of your feet together and take your savasana in baddha konasana today, which is what I'm going to do. Or if you prefer, you can kick both feet down to the foot of your mat and take a traditional savasana. Wherever you are, just let everything go. Let every bone and muscle in your body sink down and be nice and heavy on your mat. No more forcing your breath, just let it be nice and easy. Use this moment to really breathe into everything that we just did. All of these beautiful twists and turns help to freshen the body, letting go of what we don't need, inviting in what we do need. We'll take a couple more breaths here. really letting all the beautiful benefits of this yoga practice sink in from top to bottom. Slowly start to open your eyes. If you're in Baddha Konasana, just kick both feet out to Savasana for a moment so that we can all inhale together and stretch like a cat getting extra long from fingertips to toes. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Gently roll to the right or left side and slowly find your way up to a seated position. We're gonna close here today, so just take a moment to ground down as you lengthen through your spine. Big inhale. Open your mouth, sigh. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands in prayer at your chest. Namaste, yogis. Thanks for tuning in to 30 Days of Spring Reset. I can't wait to see you next week.